about a year and a half ago, I brought to you guys a little device called the Car Lock. It plugs into your OBD2 slot, lets you track a vehicle um, in case of theft or uh, making sure Junior's not speeding out when he's out with his friends. Uh, and it also did uh, checkups on your vehicle, make sure your your 12 volt battery is doing good. And it even worked on a Tesla and works with pretty much any vehicle that uses the OBD2 slot. Well, CarLock has approached me. They loved my review about their CarLock device. And they said, hey, would you like to give the new CarLock Portable a, a try and give it a little review? So we have here the CarLock portable now the difference is the original car lock has to plug into an obd2 slot that's for its power and um, to monitor the vehicle this one is battery powered so let's take a look a little bit different you can see there's no obd2 slot uh, it has a 2600 milliamp hour battery and it can go for as much as 14 days on a single full charge monitoring a vehicle. Now, the nice thing about this, because it does not require the OBD2 slot, you can use it to track a trailer. Uh, you could toss it in a car, still track a car. That, that's another feature I should touch on, is it has a SOS button. See that nice little square button right there? If you press and hold it, which I just did, um, it will automatically send an emergency alert to whatever phone it that the car lock app is on to uh, alert it that there's an emergency um now one thought i was going to do is i can shove this in gino's backpack that's my youngest currently youngest got another one on the way um and i can see where he is if he's going for a walk with his friends out for a bike ride uh walking home from school and if there's a problem he can press the button my phone's instantly alerted to where he is, and I can go and check him. Uh, other thing, uh, since it's battery-powered, the vehicle doesn't even have to be on. Uh, Stress-free tra traveling, you could toss this in a suitcase when you're traveling, and uh, say you arrive at your destination, but your suitcase is missing. Well, where is it? Well, you can say, oh, I'm in San Francisco. Why is my suitcase in Beijing? Uh, let's see, uh, well, I, I'd say 14 days of battery life is pretty darn good. Works with Apple or Google, or Android in the Google Play Store. Uh, comes with your first month of service for free, and um, it's less, I think it was less than $10 a month uh, if you buy a year's worth of monitoring uh, prepaid. And um, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's GSM based. It's got a little SIM card. Comes with the SIM card right there. It charges via USB. And uh, enough talking. Let's actually check it out. Now, you already saw the SOS button. It's got three lights for power, cell phone, and uh, GPS. Um, now, it pulls the uh, cell, cell, cell tower and the GPS every 15 to 30 seconds, roughly, and this cuts down considerably on battery usage. If someone presses the SOS button, no matter what, it will connect and send that, that notification. Um, usually, um, I was playing around with it. it, took about 5 or 10 seconds for that notification to come through to my phone. Uh, another uh, power button's on the top, so you just press and hold, turn it on, press and hold, shut it off. Took about four hours from 100% dead to uh, about, I think about 96% when I took it off the charger. And what's more is, if you're going to be tracking something like a trailer, like in my case, I, I have uh, uh, travel trailers that I rent out on Outdoorsy and RV Share, and... Um, Occasionally, it'd be nice to know where they're going. If they're going out of state, um, I prefer track. Um, since this is GSM, uh, very compatible with, with a lot of networks. And um, let's pop this open here. This is the CarLox magnet attachment for things like trailers. And I, I haven't taken out of the package yet, but I have been playing with the magnets. And these magnets are not your normal little cheap refrigerator magnets. Uh, these are 
neodymium. Yeah. So neodymium magnets even has some little little spacers in there if you need some more extra padding. And the car lock slides in there. Put the cover on. And oh, two little screws in the packaging. Uh, so the cover will actually screw shut and it will stick. And uh, with these ne neodymium magnets, let's see. Whoops, didn't have the screws on there. Because we're still playing around. Oh, because uh, we're still playing around a bit. But these buggers are strong. These will most likely not pop off as you're going down a bumpy road. Um, and I will be giving that a try too. Um, but let's take a look at the app. So you guys, stop looking at me. Look at my phone. So now we are looking at the uh, Carlock app. And um, so as you can see, it's showing the approximate location. Put that up on the uh, onto the uh, dashboard there. Um, so it gives approximate location. Now when you hit SOS, the, uh, the location gets even more accurate and you can really zoom in and get pretty darn close. So we're just sitting in the, in the street here. Um, now you got a few different functions. You got the lock function, which kind of geofences where, where it's located. And um, if the device travels outside that location, you will get notified. So um, just for example, let's say um, I have this in Gino's backpack and he's at school. And um, so I, I lock him at school. Now, if he travels outside that, that school perimeter, I will get notified immediately. So that's a very neat feature there. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm gonna press this little picture of a of a car with an arrow pointing down. That zooms in no matter where you're looking, boom. Kind of like centers on that GPS. On the upper left, there is a center on, it shows my location. Navigate to the car, but we're not gonna do that because I'm sitting in the car. So let's look at, uh, oh, I did get 100%. Um, you can see the battery level of the car lock portable. And you can see uh, total distance and time. And let's take a look. You got, you got logs, SOS buttons pressed. Um, you can see I was playing around with it and doing some, some fun stuff. Smart lock. Um, I got to look into this a little more, but they also have a uh, little... Uh, a little Bluetooth tag, I guess. And um, you can also lock to certain locations. And then you can set some um, some other other settings here. Um, now as a backup, if you're if you're traveling outside someplace that doesn't have data access, um, you can purchase and you get, I think 20 uh, 20 uh, SMSs uh, uh, if you purchase a like a yearly subscription. And what happens is, is if the car lock or your phone does not have a data at signal, but you do have signal for getting, uh, say, a, a text message, um, instead of notifying you through the app, you will get a text message in instead. Uh, you can turn off smart lock, harsh driving, lets you be notified about driving behavior, such as an usually fast acceleration, hard and sudden stop, and, or sharp braking. I'm gonna use this for tracking my trailer. Speeding, 81 miles an hour. Now, my renters, I tell them they should not exceed 65 with my trailers. Um, increases fuel consumption and uh, uh, greatly starts to increase bearing temperatures. So we're going to set that to 70 miles an hour. So I'll get notified if they go over at or over 70 and then profile. Um, you can see my uh, the first one there is Tesla S. That was my my uh, OBD2 car lock, the original one I tested out. And um, I was actually using that to track uh, uh, Grandpa and uh, the ex-wife's cars. Um, of course, with 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 their 100% consent. Um, 
at, um, I just named this one the 90D. Um, you can add vehicles. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole setup, the original setup. Uh, you get a card in the box. You go If you've never used Car Lock before, you go to the URL on the card, and then you just enter in the serial number and device ID, and you can create your account, and you're all set to go. You log into your account on the phone or tablet app, and that's it. You're all set to go. If you have an existing Car Lock account, um, do not, I found, do not use the URL in the, uh, on the card. Instead, uh, go straight to your app, log in, go to profile, and it will have, and click add vehicle. I found it worked a lot smoother, and there's a lot less hassle with the system accepting that. Uh, minor details, but, um, I mean, if you don't have an account, go with the URL. If you do have an account, log in and add it via the app. So we're going to go out next and we're going to shove this little bugger onto my trailer. Uh, we're going to do that a little later because I want to fully charge it before my trailer goes out. And that way I will be able to track where my trailer is going this weekend. It's got a two-day rental, so and he's picking it up this afternoon. So let's move on over to that. Okay, so I got the uh, car lock portable. It's uh, screwed in and secured in here. And uh, just for fun, we're gonna go real quick over to the beater Pontiac here in Chalet's learner car. And, oh, look at that. Oh man. Yeah, that's got, that's a strong, strong magnet on here. So uh, here is uh, my brand new 2019 E-Pro. Uh, customer will be here in about five minutes to pick it up. So we're going to attach this bugger on here. But first just, Oh. <clears throat> Straight up lift. That is some strong magnet. That's so we're gonna rock it on. Now if you want to lift off, it's easier to rock it. Damn. Yeah. Woo. Okay, so uh we are going to put this. How about right there between those two bolts? I want to try and keep it somewhat angled towards the sky, you know, visible, you know, to the sky. Because, uh, better GPS lock. And there we go. And uh, once he's got it and drives off, uh, we'll, we'll just take a little, little look-see on, uh, on the actual tracking. So there it is. Okay, so I set a geofence last night um, with the lock, so that way I got an alert when the trailer started moving. And we're going to shut that off. Clear vehicle moved alert. We'll clear that. And yes, I have uh, the renter's permission. Uh, I'm, I'm not showing his destination or where he started from. Uh, so that way, you know, protect his privacy. He's just going down the interstate, uh, just p pretty much passing downtown Milwaukee right now. So we're going to unlock. And uh, right now, uh, it's, it was pretty cold last night, about 31, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, he's traveled about, on this oh, his total trip, battery's still 93% after, it's been 24 hours now. Uh, so, uh, vehicle's moved. It's in motion now. So we can go through and we can see updates about every 30 seconds or so. And, uh, he's actually getting ready to pass the Milwaukee Brewers Stadium. Or Mitchell Park. Wait, no, that's Milwaukee Mile. Oh, Miller Park is there on the left-hand side. So he'll be getting to Miller Park in about one minute there. But it's letting me... It's keeping me synced with, with, the, with the trailer there. Let's see. So tell me... Vehicle moved. So it lets me see where it is going. I'd say that's pretty... Pretty cool. Got a little further there. Oh, there we go on the top. Speed 61 miles per hour. Uh, which is 
pretty much keeping up with traffic through Milwaukee County. It's a 55 speed limit. But uh, there we go. And then it, it alerted, alerted me, it buzzed me on my phone once it left that geofenced locked area. So when I turn that on, it locks it within that radius. And there you have it. This is the car lock portable. Extremely impressed. Now, where am I, you might think? Let's show you. Zoom out. I am currently where there we go. I am currently literally right here. And there's my trailer. Oh, passing the casino. There you go. If you are interested in purchasing a car lock, portable or car lock, uh, the standard one that plugs into the OBD, uh, OBD2 slot, please see the links below. 